In Australia, we've been able to effectively remove one menace with no opposition. The wetlands of the Northern Territory were once covered in hundreds of thousands of feral water buffalo. But culling programs have cut this down to a fraction of their peak population. In times of drought, starving buffalo have been known to terrorise townships, even coming to the outskirts of Darwin. Males can live as long as 20 years and weigh more than a tonne. One bad-tempered young bull is known to have taken exception to a moving goods train. The ensuing battle left the locomotive derailed and a freight company with a very unusual insurance claim. Now, water buffalo actually pose a greater threat to the environment than us. They're introduced and are much hardier than domestic cattle. They're able to feed on a wider range of plants and by wallowing can escape the effects of insect bites that weaken cows. Their durability in a land unable to cope with heavy hooved animals has led to soil erosion, destruction of native bird and animal habitats, and over-browsing of grasslands. <laughs>